I'm Annie Kroll, a producer at Viewpoints Radio. This week, I spoke with professional bridesmaid Jen Glantz, CEO of the business Bridesmaid for Hire, to talk about some of the potential difficulties that can come with being a bridesmaid. As a friend, paying for your dress isn't all a bride may require. It can end up being a lengthy list of commitments and costs. Glantz's services can help with just that problem. Whether that means cutting down on planning time, traveling to venues and shops, or being a shoulder to cry on, Glantz has a lot to offer to brides who may want to lessen the burden on their friends. What are some of the stresses that you're able to take off of the bride's friends as a professional bridesmaid that otherwise would be totally on their shoulders? So it's so interesting because when you take on the role of being a bridesmaid, it's almost like you become an event planner and you're tasked with doing all of these things when really you just want to be a good friend. So one of the things that I'll help with is planning the bachelorette party, the bridal shower, figuring out the travel plans, but also just being there to listen to the bride when she needs someone to listen to her and perhaps go wedding dress shopping with her and help her make a lot of the key decisions that your friends want to do, but they might not know how. Honestly, and having someone with your experience of, wait, can I ask how many weddings you've done? (laughs) I've worked over 100 weddings in my past five years of being in this business. Jen, that sounds terrifying. I'm not going to lie. While it may sound terrifying, Glantz can't help but smile when she discusses the number of brides she's consoled in five years as a business owner. Yet another more non-conventional option calls for removing the institution of bridesmaids and groomsmen entirely. I asked Ashley Smith, owner of Ashley Smith Events, about this unusual take on the big day. I think it's still the same. It's just that we basically dropped the bridal party. So it's, it, again, it's, it's more focused on the couple, which is what the focus of the day is, the union of these two people and their marriage. So I think that bridal parties tend to get a little messy sometimes. Like it's really not about your friends and, and what they're wearing. And it's not like a fashion show necessarily for them. So I think that, again, keeping the focus on the bride and the groom is more important. So we still do a lot of times we still do many photo sessions throughout the days where the bridal party might be in them or there's family portrait sessions and things like that. But when it comes to the actual ceremony and the main pieces of the event, again, it's 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 kept the focus on, you know, we're keeping a, a hammer on the nail basically with it. Which option would you choose when planning a wedding, or would you go the traditional route? The expenses of being a good friend during wedding season. Check out the full story wherever you listen to podcasts and on viewpointsonline.net. Also follow Viewpoints Radio on Twitter and Instagram for more behind the scenes.